Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel Nov Love and welcome new viewers who may just be clicking on this video for the very first time. Thank you for coming to take a look. Um, so today's pick a card that I have for you, the next time you see them, okay, like what's going to happen um, and how it will be, okay. I do have four pals for you today, a bit of a treat, I've got some time to do that. Um, and you can choose between these different lipsticks and lip glosses, okay? So we've got Pal Worm, this lip gloss. Pal 2 is this lipstick. Pal 3 is another lip gloss. And Pal 4 is a lipstick, okay? If you need to, you can pause the video, you know, take your time, see which pie you're drawn to. Um, and also I'm just hearing right now that one or more piles may be for you. So this is telling me that some of you may be picking different piles about different people. Okay, so you can absolutely do that. Um, and as a reminder, all readings are timeless. Um, and you can pick even up to four different people depending on how many <laughs> you're going to be seeing, okay? Um, all right, so let's get started. Pal one. Okay. <clears throat> Hope you're all keeping well, guys. All right, so welcome to your reading, Pal one. The next time you see your person, let's see what the main energy will be like, okay? We've got Knave of Cups, okay. So first of all, the overall energy is, it will be playful. I feel like there'll be a lot of flirting, a lot of banter. Um, this is someone that you have a lot of fun with, you have had a lot of fun with, and the next time you see them, that's what it's gonna be about. Here, it's like you can learn from each other. You kind of like bounce off each other. Um, th there's like a vibe between you. Here, I don't get that you are necessarily dating officially but it's like talking stages it's it's the dating stage but it's like young you know it's still early early days okay that's what i have for you pal one and there's like an energy of excitement because you still don't really fully know each other yet and there's there is some kind of anticipation and tension building it's like ooh, <laughs> yeah okay that's what i have so far and I feel smiley and happy, so it's like a very light vibration, you know? Okay, so how else will it be when Pal One sees that person next? What's it going to be like next time they meet? You're going to have some more insight on that, please, cards. Thank you. Knave of Pentacles, yeah. So, um, an Ace of Cups. Now... All right, let's go to Knave of Pentacles first. I've had this card come out before and I got energy from it that it's kind of a bit cheeky rather than it being like a negative because this card does represent loss. But you know, also what comes up here is like, not only is this person a little bit cheeky, like they, um, they know how to get around you. This is what it is. So it's not like ch cheeky or like, you know, deceptive in a negative way. It's just they know how to like get you right around their little finger because this person, as I say, they they may even be like kind of, you know, cute face, like a fresh face look, you know. Um, it could be that type of look where it's like pretty boy type vibe, you know. Um, they like to wear an earring, I'm seeing that. They have like maybe their eyebrows done, like, you know what I mean? And they smell really good. So it's like they know, they, they just know how to get to you like that. And I'm seeing that next time you meet, they're gonna be putting on that, putting that on you like real heavy, like this kind of really heavy flirtation. You can expect next time you meet this person, the flirtation level will have gone up, like it's escalated. And we've got Ace of Cups. So as I was saying, that's a confirmation that I get, it's like early days between you and this person you're going to be seeing next. And um, actually here, there's potential for growth and there's potential for love. Okay, um, and the next time you do meet, it is going to be more emotionally based, like connecting emotionally, not just the flirtation. And I do hear like sexual energy. So some of you may have already like slept with this person, you know, it's like, and that's why in a way, 
Neither of you think it's kind of going anywhere, but somehow it's like shifting. It, it's gone into something else and it's happening this next time you meet. Um, and like we have page, page of Cups, so this person is developing feelings for you. Mm -hmm. And also why they've got no pentacles, because like they're kind of being like sneaky about it. But it's like in a good way, as I was saying, because it is my sneaky card. Like, oh, is this a sneaky link? <laughs> okay, what else, please, cards? What else is going on here? What will be going on here next time how one sees the person? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you see? Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person is definitely holding back on how they feel about you, okay? And I'll tell you why. So I've got my five of ones here. This is energy of someone who is like intimidated, like jealous. There's been jealousy energy here because, you know, you're this person in the center of this card and they see you with lots of admirers and lots of options, okay? Even though this person, um, like they, I do get that they look after themselves, you know, they're good looking and they also have options. But the thing is, they've developed things for you. They are developing, okay? So you can expect communication about this to come out because this is my secrets card, this is the truths card, and it's going to surprise you. And with the Knave of Pentacles being there, it's definitely like they're being, um, they're trying to be like cool, maybe even a bit nonchalant about things. Oh yeah, you know, I'm not in my feelings, like that's not what this is. Oh yeah, like I don't care that you're doing this, you're doing that. Because I see that you're going to be talking about what you've been up to and you're going to say like, yeah, you know, so-and-so has been doing this with me, but it's like talking about other males, you know, because I have this, this female as you watching and like, you've got all these admirers, but it's just, it's like in your nature. It's not something you're doing to get this person to react. It's happened like naturally, but you're going to see that like for the first time in per when you see them, like, oh, they're reacting, like, what's, what's the deal? Like, why are they being, like, a bit jealous? You're gonna see it and you're gonna feel it, okay? And this, yeah, this person tries to play cool. Okay, so how else would it be? How else would it be between how one and their person the next time they see them? Oh, okay, so we've got the judgment, yeah. So for some reason, also, when I've got the five of wands, it's like this energy of being offended. So, as I say, this person has held back how they're like developing an emotional connection to you. And in a way, like they've hurt themselves. They've hurt themselves by like overthinking. Like, okay, you, you have all these options. Maybe um, they're not secure enough for you in the end. Like maybe you are too, like you're, you're too far above them. Like, because there's insecurity here, you know? Like when someone's jealous, it's it's not just, okay, they want to have you and be possessive, but here they, this person's energy has like a bit of insecurity. You know, Knave of Cups, they're still learning. They're very impressionable. And it's like you are more stable than them, you know? Despite appearances, they, as I say, they give off this cool, calm, collective vibe, but it's not really how they feel like in underneath. So you don't owe them an apology or anything like that. It's it's just in their head, they're thinking like, oh, do they know they offended me? Like, I was just hurt by that. Like something, the way they've seen you, like making yourself available. It's It's something like this. They see you as making yourself available, but this person thinks that you are having you know, something exclusive with them, even though you haven't made it exclusive yet. This person is a little bit of a pouty, you know, it's, it's a knife of cups. They, they just, yeah, they're, they're very sensitive. And when they get sensitive, they act like, um, you know, like a, like a child. So this person, you really gotta be like, oh, you know, come on, you're the one for me. Like, I only like you, you know that. I feel like this is your vibe you're watching. Like, you, you know, like they know how to get around you but also you know how to get around them and you know more actually, you know it more. Because in a way, pal one, you can take it or leave it, even though you like them. I'm not saying it in a way that you're being like, oh yeah, well, I do have options. No, it's not that. It's just like, that's, that's, that's what I have. 
Okay, what else please for power one? Yeah, um, okay. N yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Three of Cups. Oh, <laughs> you see, like did I not say, this is like the beginning. Ooh, this really can be something. I love this. I know it's like power one, you're really lucky. I know you, yeah, you're lucky. And also, um, this is this is gonna develop into something that will actually lead to long-term connection. Cause here it's like this balance. You've got like these three important elements, you know, the emotional connection, the practical, like an, you know, an actual offer of stability. And then there's like sexual chemistry for those of you that have crossed that line together already. Somehow it's like you're bonding, you know, the bonding is beginning. And the next time you see them, this is what's gonna be on the table. Like they're laying this out to you with the seven of swords, they're putting this on the table, revealing like, look, mm, I've noticed that maybe you might be seeing others or dating other people, people have interest in you. Uh, so listen, I wanna, I want me and you to, to be, like I want it to be me and you. Let's not, let's not do this anymore. Let's not act like we don't care or we're just being, it's for fun. Yeah. Because this person feels left out. This is the person, okay? It can be the male, you know? I'm just saying it's like, this is you, even though I'm pointing to the male. But it's like, you know, you're relaxed. You're not kind of, um, you're not caught up. This person is caught up and they are getting caught up about you. And next time you see them, you're going to really see that. Because they're going to tell you. They're going to actually like verbalize it, okay? And as I say, the um, escalation of like the flirtation all of that you're gonna be like whoa like, what is going on here because this person in a way they also don't know how to express it without being overly emotional that might put you off because they see you as very confident in power one okay um all right so i'm gonna pull from my little oracle let's get some final messages Why do I hear tantalizing? Who, who is tantalizing this person? <laughs> You're tantalizing to them? Oh yes, and I also see here like someone driving in a very uh, flashy car. Like a, it's a, a black Mercedes, black, it's like a sports version of the car and, and the smell is so good. Like, I don't know if they're driving you somewhere. Like, let me take you out, let me take you to dinner. <laughs> Like this person okay i'm gonna go for that one yeah seven of i mean i was gonna say seven of i was like no it's just seven in the oracle deck uh, um yes look Oy. why am i being all nervous like i feel like this is gonna be you next time you see them because when you see them next you're gonna be dressed up this is not like just come around my place this is go out like let me take you out look like official you know how See that like an envelope? I'm not saying you're gonna receive an envelope from them, but some of you might. I'm seeing like a, an envelope with cash. Uh, because this person is like, okay, they like the person that they're with, whether it's just dating, casual, they, they treat them well. Um, like, you know, they, they like to know the people around them is taken care of and, and they feel some type of care towards you as well. So it's some invitation to go out, not just seeing them the next time like let's just be at my place or your place like i say no they want to take you out to dinner let's go somewhere let me spoil you okay thank you pal one that was your reading i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if it resonated like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you
Hello, welcome to your reading pal two. The next time you see them, let's take a look at the overall energy of what it will be like um, next time you see your person, okay? We've got 10 of swords. Ooh. So here what I have is that there's gonna be some type of, uh, the word is, um, resume, resurrect, rectify, rectify, that's it. Um, there's some energy here of things being rectified and healing because there's been a misunderstanding. Here, there's been betrayals. And so it's something about talking it out. I want to talk it out. Let's talk this out. Someone is saying that. Okay, so the overall energy here is you're going to get some type of uh, clarity and you're going to get your, I hear like your end of the agreement, like um, whatever it is this person is offering you with this talk, you're going to get what you want out of it. That's what I have, okay, the next time you see them. Something needs repairing here in part two, okay. And that's what I'm getting you're gonna you're gonna do next time you see this person. Okay. Can we have more please cards? And can you expand on Ten of Swords and anything else, like how it's gonna be when Pal 2 sees their person next? Thank you. <laughs> this is really random, but I keep hearing avocado. I don't know if some of you are just really into avocados right now or you're considering using avocado oil something like this well yes the answer is yes okay that's just a random side note but it's it's coming up about avocados okay um yeah so we've got queen of wands okay and we've got king of cups so here we've got our couple here we've got our couple, okay? So you could be dealing with what sign? Okay, Scorpio comes out first, Pisces and a Cancer, but it's predominantly Scorpio, Pisces, and then Aries and Sagittarius, female predominantly. And for some reason I do get Libra, even though I know this is a the fire sign, but um, I don't know, it's like they embody similar energies, even though I know it's an air sign. We do have Ten of Swords there, so take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be, but either way, um, here we've got um, the woman, you know, the female energy here. She, she cut him off. She cut off this guy, all right? This guy, uh, as I say, though, there's been betrayal here and misunderstanding. This person wasn't listening. So the next time you see them, it's going to be about them being all ears, King, they're definitely going to be coming forward in their King of Cups energy because, as I say, there's energy of repairing and that's what's going to happen. So they're going to hear you out. It's like, hear you out, you're going to hear them out because this time, rather than them hearing you out, it's more accurate to say they'll be listening. Like, for once, they're actually going to be listening to what you're saying. And I hear now couples. So this, this was a couple is a couple because I don't have that you've broken up with them it's like it went through a this is a fallout you know this is a fallout like you just didn't talk for a bit but it's not like months on end so if if it's been months on end then this reading most likely isn't going to be for you okay continue to see but this is like short term this is like a quick turnaround it's quite fresh okay I hear six days ago for some of you. Okay, um, so how else will it be for these cards? How else will it be the next time how two sees their person? Yeah, you guys are getting back together. Yeah. I mean, I say getting back together. I don't have there was a separation here, but for some reason it is like, this is my reunification card. Okay, getting back together card, but it's like, it still applies because it's coming back together as in having that understanding, reaching this agreement, healing and repairing your connection. So while I'm saying like there's been a break here, yes, there has, there's been a break in communication, there's been a break in um, 
you know, the understanding, but there's not been a break up. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, but either way, it's like you're coming back together more solid, more solidified. So you can expect quite a significant change, quite a significant shift next time you see your person. Okay, what else is going on here? And I'm hearing someone saying like, we, we do we need to sort this out. Like we do need to look at this. We need to, we need to figure this out. Come on. Okay. Yeah. And I was just about to say, like, because think of all the time we've put in, think of all the hard work we've put in and then Ten of Pentacles. So this is someone you've been with for a long time. You know, this is not like a, a one year, six month. This has been going on for some time. You may even have a family together. Ten of Pentacles is family, home life, okay? Um, and then I've got my wife card. So definitely it's giving me, um, you could be even a married couple here. And you've had to go through some kind of period where it's like, we don't know if we're meant to be anymore. Like, is this us? You got lost. And this person, okay, we've got the magician. So the energy they're going to be in is like, they're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Whatever it takes to make it happen. Because let me tell you, the energy here is they do not want to lose you. They do not want to lose you. At this point... It's like, even if you were like shouting at them back in Queen of Wands energy, telling them, they're going to take it. They're going to take it because <laughs> they, they don't want to lose you. Okay. What else, please, cards? What else, please, for Pal 2? King of Wands and Seven of Swords. Yeah, so the next time you see them, you're actually going to be very surprised by their approach, um, the, the determination, and also the action, because they will take action from this. So they're going to tell you about all the things they want to do to fix this next time you see them. And then I'm seeing like after that, they're, they're also going to be taking the action, the king wants. And like with the magician, it's like that's, that's what they're going to do. Some of you may be dealing with the fire sign males as well. And then, yeah, change, change ways. Something here about changing ways. And Seven of Swords. So this is all coming to light. The truth. The truth about the situation that got you into this in the first place is coming out and being revealed. There's no more avoiding it anymore. And Pal 2, when you see this person next, there's no avoiding it anymore. And actually, it's more of them talking and you listening in that sense. Even though that I'm saying they're going to be listening to you, but... The energy behind that, when I say it, I just mean it's like for real. Not just like they're sitting there and you're talking. No, I mean like they're going to hear you. For those of you that know what I mean, you, you'll be like, okay, yeah, that this is, I get it. Okay, what else, please, cards? Yeah, six of swords. So you're going into new waters. You're going to be exploring new waters with this person. Okay, you're, this is, it's not done. I, you, you know, I have my reunification card. As I say, I don't get there was an official breakup or anything like that, but there's just been a pulling apart, like growing apart. You're going to be growing back together. And the next time you see each other, this is what is going to be the main energy. And actually, I see it continuing. It's not just this next time you see them. Something is developing from this. This is not a quick, we're meeting, let's see each other, let's talk this out, then we're going to go away again. No. At that time, next time you see them, this person is like, I, I want us back together. We need to be back together. Okay, let me see my oracle. I don't want to be in separation. Child, unexpected income thoughts. Yeah. So some of you may have a child with this person, because we've got ten of pentacles there as well. Um, and actually some of you, I have, you may have a child on the way and that's what's also had something to do with this separation because the person watching this was like, you're not ready. You're still not ready. You're still not getting it, taking this responsibility and this triggered it also. That's just for some of you. 
that's a specific message okay for the ones that, of you that have child on the way um but you know look you've never been off their mind for them it, this was it was like a challenge but i don't mean it as in like it's some kind of game to see who could hold out longer but this person was stubborn and it was only when you finally said no i'm not gonna keep doing this that they they finally are changing but i feel like some of you are very tired right now i don't know i have this very tired energy because like with ten of swords i just and then ten of pentacles i feel like you've you've really put in the work with this person it's, it's been like years and you're just like I'm, I'm exhausted now like i've said things so many times and you don't believe this could even happen that this person is even capable of yeah like moving it into new waters being a magician to make things happen because they've spent so long not making things happen but they are an unexpected income so you can expect them next time you see them they've got some kind of uh something to offer you uh monetarily like actual cash money i'm seeing this like words of cash and then also uh i see i see and i hear there's a key coming a key to a home and see how there's like a home in the background it's like they're gonna go get that family home they're surprising you with that and yeah this is next time you see them yeah they will actually have the key to give you and the money this way it's like shocking for you you're gonna be like okay did you borrow this from someone do you owe someone money now like i don't want it if it's like that no they went and did it because the magician this is the manifester the the great manifester like they made it they got it they made it happen because they knew they were going to lose you for real this time. You weren't playing games, Queen of Wands. No. Okay. So you can expect to be getting what you've been trying to sow, like reap for all these years. And it may have been like a 10 year engagement, you know, like you, I have the wife card. So it's like now some of you who you, you didn't marry yet, they're, they're gonna be wanting me like it all now. It's all like coming now. This next time you see them, it's coming up. I hear also some of you will be setting the date if it's not got to marriage yet because you put in the time and it's about time. Yeah. Okay, that was your reading pal too. Thank you very much. Let me know in the comments if it resonated. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the reading. Let me know what comes to pass. I always love to know, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and you'd like to see more like this and hit that bell notification. Um, yeah, so thank you. See you in the next one. Bye. Latino vibe going. This song is coming into my head, guys. Dancerera. Okay, are you single in part three? <laughs> what is going on here? Why I want to be like that? Okay, so welcome to your reading part three. Let's take a look at the overall energy of what it will be like the next time you see a person. Okay, so let's go in. Ooh, a ten of wands. So here I've got two. Like a, a, two people who are both very fiery and very um, like all over the place, like uh, strong will, strong minded. And it's like when you get together with this person, it uh, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> but OK, so far, it's not like, ne <laughs> excuse me, it's not negative energy. It's more like um, you guys just like you bounce off each other, but it like playfully. But sometimes it can cross that line, okay? 
like I've got two people here with very like high levels of sarcasm this type of thing okay just gonna have a drink guys <coughs> excuse me the incense caught me off guard Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I spiked. Okay, so also I do have that for some of you there was like a an argument and it's still lingering. That's why next time you see them, it's like still there. Because I'm hearing someone say, what did you mean by that? What did you mean by that? But at the same time, there's chemistry. There's gonna be like chemistry between you. Okay, yeah, four of wands, four of swords, right? Yeah. So what I can say is the next time you see this person, while there are challenges there, and like both of you are very, like, I just have this very strong-willed, two very strong-willed people, and we've got four of four, so it's like you are both the same, okay? Um, you are going to get some kind of... Uh, like you're gonna come to an understanding because we've got four of ones so there's not an end in here it's more of a getting together it's like actually making it you and this person as in like monogamous without other people involved because here there's something about third party but it's not i'm not even saying it's like you either one of you's been seeing someone else no it's family something here about family that the, okay there's an energy here this is specific the person that interfered uh, is a family member and they play like victim. They play like, oh, I'm not, I don't feel good. Something's happening to me. There's always something happening to them. And you, you like pointed this out. Like, you could see. And when you tried to tell your person, they were having none of it. And this is what brought the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, as I'm saying, it's still lingering and it will be next time you see them. At the same time, though, your person wants to sort this out. They want to be in four of wands with you, okay, and not in four of swords. <clears throat> in part three, some of you may have blocked this person. But somehow you're seeing them, because this is who's coming up in the reading. Look, knight of swords. So here we've got fire signs, air signs. Okay. I do have it small, the female, um... I was going to say air, but no. Fire sign, okay? Dealing with a male, male air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> okay. How else is it going to be? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, guys, right. <clears throat> Let me pause for a second because this... Next time you see this person, it's either going to go one way or the other. There's not, there's not going to be a balanced um, situ like a sit outcome, rather. Right? Because look at the cards I've got here. These three major arcanas. Judgment, the Courage card, and the Death card. So the next time you see this person, it will either be the beginning of something new, or it's going to be the ending. And both of you are going to have to be like really like courageous, like really be honest and raw about things. I get that you already like that, you watching. It's more so them like waking up to the fact that their own family manipulates them. This is like very, yeah. I have here like a big family vibe, like someone who has to be at family things, even though the, the family can be rude to them, they still have to be there at their beck and call. And as I say, someone interfered 
not a romantic interference. It was a family interference. Um, so here it's like, in a way, I feel you have the power more because you could walk away from this. You could be, you know, the death to it because you'll be like, you know what? You're still not getting it. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to move into four of wands with you. Um, if you're still on this, like, ignoring what's actually happening and the manipulation. So they're, they're quite strong cards and I would say at pal three, you, yeah, you will have the decision to walk away from this. The next time you see them, it's going to be like the final showdown. That's what I have. And it will be a showdown because we've got 10 of wands, four of swords, knight of swords, like the courage card, trying to keep it together. This, this person, next time you see them, they're going to be trying to keep it together. They're going to be trying to keep you and still please like other people in the situation. Okay, so, okay, what else do we have here? Seven of Wands, oh, the tower, okay, guys. I, the next time you see this person, it's, yeah, it, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I, I, my question in my head before, now I'm going to verbalize it, but it was like, will this person choose you? Like, will they actually stop this avoiding and what's really going on with this manipulation? And, you know, the family member in particular, there's like a dominant family member. I do have like a mother figure who was involved, can be a sister also, even a cousin. And there's a strong connection here to... Uh, I, I keep getting like Mexico because I keep hearing things in Spanish and also I'm hearing like prima, you know, like tia. It's something like this and you know what? Of course that won't be for everyone but I have a dominant energy like that. You just may be from a Spanish speaking country or the person you're seeing, this next person, right, who you've been dealing with, they're from a Spanish speaking country. And it's, it's a country, like their culture, uh, it's very big on like, you know, they're getting together, the family, everyone's involved. And yes, yeah, somebody here practices brujería, brujería, someone in this dynamic. Can be you watching, uh, connected to you or it's them. But I'm seeing it and there's a lot of like, it's tears, you know, a lot of women. It's not looking good here, guys. I think... Okay, let me see. <clears throat> Rather than saying that. I'm going to go to my regular tarot. Because here, I think this is something you're going to walk away from. Actually, you're being protected from it. Okay, can we get some advice? I would like advice, please, cards, for pile three. Pile three for the... Uh, advice for the person in pile three. The person watching this video. <clears throat> what do they need to know? How can they act next time they see the person in part three? <clears throat> King of Cups. <clears throat> okay, I need more please cards. <clears throat> Guys, excuse my coffin. I already have um, something going on. But also, I just feel like maybe this person is a smoker. Like, I don't know. I just feel like more irritated. And, and the incense did trigger something. But I'm like, something is irritating here. Okay. And I hear now somebody doesn't want you two to be together. And then, okay, I don't read reverse, but then four of ones came out backwards in reverse. And I just said, somebody doesn't want you to be together. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is a specific story. What I'm getting here, the person you're seeing next, okay? <clears throat> There is heavy, heavy, heavy connection here to third party and 
Really heavy, yeah, okay? Someone is dealing in stuff like this. Someone in the, around this person does not have good intentions for this person to be happy, but they're claiming like it is from love, right? But it's not. And they don't want you to be together. And the, the person who is it behind this is favoring, favoring the person they used to be with an ex they used to be with who still knocks about with the family still comes around to the family acts like family but they're not family this person loves you they want to be in four of ones with you but you know what i do have from the four of swords it's like because you were speaking the truth and telling them this hurt them like it offended them and so the family is like, see, see, the, the girl is like this. She's saying, I don't even know why I want to do this accent. I just feel like because, you know, they could speak multiple languages. It doesn't even have to be, as I say, I get the strong connection to Mexico, like Latin cultures. But it could be like a culture just where, oh, everybody's in the business. Like, to, you know, they talk with their hands like, oh, everybody has something to say. Can also be a Southern European connection here and Middle Eastern. It's like, uh, and you're baffled by this. You're baffled, like, what? you don't get it. You love me, but what are you doing? Oh, this needs a whole collective on its own, guys. This is really deep. I'm, I, all these major cards like that, all, all, I, all I know is from this card. I know I'm saying it doesn't look good, but it's like the main energy there from those major arcanas is like someone is stopping it. Someone is trying to stop you. And as I say, I don't read reverse, okay? But I'm taking it. I am taking it because when I said this person doesn't want you to be with this person, this third party interference, that came out in reverse. Okay. We gotta give you some more here, Paltry, because this is like. Okay, let's go to the outcome. <clears throat> okay, the next time Paltry sees that person, cards the truth and only the truth. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, they're gonna choose you. They will choose you somehow like a miracle because <laughs> we've got the world card which is also like that karmic energy and cycles coming around coming to a full cycle this person is gonna hear you for like real they're gonna see because something will have happened they found something out about the people interfering and the situation ten of pentacles is that commitment it's the relationship card and you've got the four of ones here so before I was like, mm, I just, I didn't know, I needed more. I needed more confirmation because the energy is very strong here. There's a need to protect yourself. Okay. And also another advice I'm hearing is, don't talk to this family. Don't, the, the person's family, the next time, the person you're going to see, okay, who this reading is about, their family, anyone tries to contact you, sending you messages, you leave it be. Let go to the person directly who you're with, okay? Who you're dealing with. I know you're kind of not together right now, but as I see it, there's not been a separation. It's like similar to Pal 2, just to pull apart, but you, you're gonna to be together, you are together. And you're gonna see them this next time to get all this sorted. That's what I have for you, Pal 3. As I said, it's like this is a reading for its own collective, really. But, um, you know, I've got another pile to do. I feel like I got the best there for you. You got some advice as well. Um, and while, you know, I'm saying it's not looking good, but it's like the, the reason I'm saying it is because the energy is very strong. I've not had like this amount of major arcana cards come out one, one time like this. And that's why, and I'm saying like, when I pick up the brujeria vibes, uh, this is telling me like it's not something to take lightly, not not messing around. Not that I'm saying you are, but protect yourself, okay? Protect yourself and you're going to be good. You're good anyway, okay? 
you're good anyway. Because <clears throat> the person is choosing you. So remain as you are. And also I hear don't take the bait. Okay, let's keep it there. Thank you, Paddle 3. Let me know in the comments if it resonated. Like, share and subscribe for more content like this. I hope you enjoyed the reading and it wasn't too much of a shock. As always, you know, use your discernment and take what resonates. Not everything will be for everyone. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, welcome to your reading, pal four. Whew. So, <clears throat> the next time you see your person, let's take a look at the dominant overall energy. Eight of Cups. So, first of all, I hear straight away confession. There's a confession. The next time you see your person, there is an opening up here, and I hear like the floodgates. Something here where this person feels, up until now, they've not been able to be expressive in their emotions. But now it's like they, they're feeling overwhelmed. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it. And something here about, I don't know, someone was saying, like, a choice, make a choice. What are we doing? Okay. Cards. Can I see more, please? Can we go further on this Eight of Cups for Pal 4? And the next time they see their person. The judgment. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles and the Magician. Okay, here somebody messed up. Here somebody didn't act on time. That's what I hear. They didn't act when it, when it was needed. Because there's something here about abandonment. Even though I see a male on the card who was abandoned, I'm getting it's you. And you're Queen of Cups. Okay? This person, like, neglected. There's some energy here, like, neglected. They were negligent. And they, they didn't come through for you. They didn't come through for you. What was that about? Okay. And next time you see them, pal, fall, they want to make it right. They want to make up for something. Three of Pentacles. It's like here they want to... Now they want to give you even more than what they gave before. Okay, what else? And someone here in this situation is like unrecognizable. Maybe some of you lost weight like during this. I don't know, like something made you change physically. That's what I have because of this connection. I couldn't eat. Like, okay. How else is it going to be the next time Pearl Four sees their person? The truth, please, cards. Okay, Seven of Swords, wow. I think all four piles, maybe not part three, but they've all had Seven of Swords. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, absolutely a confession. With Eight of Cups, that's what's coming. Six of Pentacles. This person, yeah. As I was saying before, okay, it's like now, 
and this next time you see your person in power four, they're going to want to give to you. But it's like, in a way, you're going to find it over the top. You're like, what is going on? Why do you all of a sudden want to be this generous with me? Why do you want to give me money? Why are you bringing me flowers and gifts? They want to they wanna woo you. They want to win you over. Even though it's not six of wands, which is like the victory. Here I'm seeing six of pentacles as like for them the victory. This could be earth sign you're dealing with. Earth sign male. Capricorn Virgo in particular. And... It's like now they want to impress you. Now they want to uh, wine and dine you. Even though all along you've been Queen of Cups. But this is what's happening next time you see them. And I hear they're saying, I want to show you. I want to show you. Like, I I'm, I've changed. Like, I've changed my mind. It's not even so much I've changed because, no, that's a different energy. It's changed my mind. Okay, what is Pile Falls Persons? Okay. Yeah. So here there was, there was a walking away, okay? There was an ending. And now, the next time you see this person, okay, not only are they going to be confessing, confessing how they feel about you, they're going to be confessing about the things they did that they knew were hurtful. Because Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, this person, they, they did something, they did things that left you feeling as i say neglected like queen of swords she's she's in like a very down energy she's not her best self right now but her natural state is queen of cups so here i do have like more of a closure energy but more because i feel powerful you watching for you it's like it is an ending for you and you're like i just i've i'm coming to get my apology i'm coming to get my justice i don't want i don't want it now i don't want the the coins i don't want the flowers it's like too late eight of swords yeah mm. see some more please cards of how else it's gonna be the next time pal four sees their person thank you okay the moon yeah i mean doesn't get any clearer than that there's definitely definitely the answers you wanted are coming out the opening up you've been wanting is coming out the next time you see this person because you'll see them but it's like queen of cups here you're, you're embodying Queen of Swords. You, this is you by nature. But you're embodying Queen of Swords currently. And when you see them next. So you've detached. You're not attached emotionally. You've, you've cut off. You've detached emotionally. So next time you see them, you're not in your feelings. You're in the Queen of Swords, like logical mindset, thinking, okay, I'm, I've come here for closure. I, I want to know what it is. Like, you want to talk to me? You want to see me? Then okay. But I'm just here for truth. I'm not here for games. And I'm not here to feel sorry for you. Okay. Let's see my oracle. Okay. Can we have an outcome here? Cards for the next time Pal Force sees their person. Thank you. Yeah. Despair. I just, I get that you're going to leave them where you found them, powerful. What else? It's not going to work. Whatever they've been planning and whatever they're going to come up with, it's in the magician energy. It's like, you don't care. You don't care anymore. 
You're too busy loving you, healing you. It's too late. It's just what I keep getting. Distant horizons, yep. Like you've detached, you've pulled away, you're going in a different direction and you just, this is about closure for you and moving forward. And look, high honor, because you're reestablishing yourself. You're giving, you're giving your place back to yourself, which is of high honor. It's queen of cups. Somehow this person took, took something from you. They took, and you're going to get that back. That's what this judgment is about. You're going to get that restored. That's why there's the high honor. They, they owe you it. Like this next time you see them, they owe you this seeing them. Like they owe you this next encounter. And the bottom of the deck, judication. Look at that. I'm going to take it. Okay, what else, please, cards? Any final messages and advice? I think for power four, please. Expectation. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, you waited long enough. That's the advice. You waited long enough. And don't wait a minute longer. Some of, the, some of you in Power 4, you may even turn them down at the opportunity of seeing them one last time. But it's like you're expecting different things for yourself, for your life, for your destiny. Distant Horizons is like destiny card here. It's changing course and leaving things behind. But at the same time, it's like you just wanted the truth. You just wanted your answers. There's, there's something here about that. Because this person let you think you were to blame. I don't see about what, guys, but I know this is the energy. And that's why it put you into Queen of Swords. Like, how could they possibly what, think this? Like, what, what are they doing? This is feeling like games to me. so power four i have a walking away like it's a closure overall the next time you see them if you choose to go ahead with it for some of you as i say i'm getting you want it's enough for you to just receive a message and be like okay that's what you had to say i appreciate that thank you like bye it's a goodbye in power four okay Well, let me know in the comments if it resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, and it can bring you some closure, even just from having the reading already. Knowing that you're on the right path for you. Here, Pal 4, it's all about you now. It's not about them. It's, they had their chance. They had many chances. Expectation. They had a lot. You waited a long time for this. And now? It's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Oh, uh. Okay. Um, like, share, and subscribe if I haven't said that already. <laughs> I'm sure you will if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.